Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll show you how to place ads on the WordPress website. So it is going to be a very easy one, so let's get started. So when we're actually choosing or building our website here, the first thing that we want to do is we want to set up our teams. But once we set up our teams, if you're looking for the ads section, so when you go to appearance here, you won't be able to see the ads section. Even if you go to your account settings here, there are no ads section or settings that you could work around here. But there is actually plugins available on WordPress where you could actually use it to add ads into your website. So first thing that you want to do is you want to go to the plugin section here. And what you want to type in is the following, which is just ads, basically ads. So from here, it's going to show you different kinds of uh, plugins that you could use to add ads into your website. So I would suggest you to use the ad inserter here, which is a free tool that you could use for this one. So we we'll just click on it. And from here, you just need to click on upgrade and activate. So for in order for you to use ads or to add ads into your website is you have to have a business plan enabled into your account to use the plugins. So here, just click on upgrade and activate. It's going to show you how much the monthly fee is. And yeah, so just click, uh, go ahead and activate your business plan here and you'll be able to use your plugins. So here, just install this one. But yeah, one of the other plugins that you could basically use this one is the Google listings and ads. So it is directly from WooCommerce, which is uh, one of the uh, trusted entities in WordPress. So you could go ahead and install this one. And another thing or plugin that you could also use is the advanced ad section which is the ad manager and adsense so this actually supports google sense auto ads if you want to use that and yeah a lot of others of here like also amazon like you customize image banners and you could also have a, a page filter for this one so yeah just make sure you upgrade upgrade your account into a business one and get your plans now on wordpress and that's about it so thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.